Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Kevin Wallace. And as I record this, I am knee deep in the creation of our CL Core video training series that's gonna be ready at the end of next month, at the end of February, 2021, depending on when you're watching this. So this week's training video I took from The Vault and it covers an access control list that can be active or not active based on the time of day or day of week. It's called a time-based ACL. And if you learned something from this video, please do me a favor and click that like button down below and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our weekly content. Now join me for a look at time-based ACLs. What is a time-based ACL? Well, a time-based ACL is an ACL that might be active or inactive depending on what time it is. For example, we could have an ACL set up such that it becomes active on this specific time on this specific day and it becomes inactive at this other time on this other day or we could have it active periodically. Maybe during working hours we want it to be active, but we want it to be inactive outside of working hours. That's what we want to see how to set up in this video, a time-based ACL. And our goal is to have that external client on screen successfully telnet to the telnet host on screen during working hours but it should fail outside of working hours. And the way we're gonna do this, I have a router set up as that external client will be issuing our telnet command from that router acting as the external client and we'll be telnetting into another router that's acting as a telnet host. Let's go out to the live interface right now and see how to configure a time-based ACL. Right now we're sitting on our external client and let's see if we can successfully set up a telnet session with the telnet host now before we do anything. Let's do a telnet to 10.1.1.2 and that is successful. We'll log into that telnet host and then I'll log back out. It works before we do anything. Now let's go to router R1 and set up a time-based ACL. The first thing we do is define a time range. When is this ACL going to be active? That's going to be defined by a time range. Let's go into global configuration mode and we'll set up a time range with the command time hyphen range and we give it a name. And we want this telnet session to be successful during working hours and we'll say that working hours are weekdays 8 a.m. through 5 p.m. Let's call this time range weekdays. Now we're in time range configuration mode and we could specify an absolute time when we say we want the ACL to become active at this specific time on this specific day. But in our case, we want to do periodic. We want it to be every week during working hours. What we'll do is say periodic and context sensitive help shows us that we could specify a specific day of the week. We could say do it daily, do it every day. We could do it on weekdays. We could do it on the weekend. We're going to say weekdays and now we can specify the time let's say we want to begin at 8 a.m and we want it to go to 5 p.m and we're going to enter that in 24-hour format and 5 p.m would be 17 colon 00 we've now defined our time range let's use that time range in the creation of an access control list we'll say access hyphen list 100 and let's permit, we're trying to match telnet traffic, we're going to permit TCP port 23. Here's how we do that. We say permit TCP. It can be from any source. We're pretending that that external client is one of many potential external clients out on the internet. It can be from any source and we're going to a host of 10.1.1.2, that's our telnet host, on port 23. And to do that, I'm going to say EQ and I could say 23 or we could just say telnet. But we don't want to stop there. We want to apply a time range to this. We'll say time hyphen range and we'll give the time range name which we called weekdays. We've now created the access control list. Let's apply it to the incoming interface on router R1 serial 1 slash 0. Interface serial 1 slash 0 IP access hyphen group 100 in the inbound direction coming in from the cloud and we're done. Now let's see if this works. Let's set the clock to noon on a Thursday, a time that would be during working hours. To do that, I can use the clock set command. We'll say clock set and I'll make it noon. And I'm going to make the date the 18th of December, 2014. And based on that, the ACL should be active. We can see if it's active by doing a show access hyphen lists. And it says right now that we are currently active. This should allow a telnet session to be set up. Let's try. Let's go back to our external client and we'll reissue that telnet command and it works again. Great. We're pretending that it's noon on a Thursday and we are able to telnet into the telnet host. Now let's pretend it's Saturday. 
Let's go back to router R1 and let's change the time. Let's say that it is now the 20th of December instead of the 18th. That would be a Saturday. And we'll once again say show access lists. This time it says we're inactive. We're outside of the time range of weekdays. The Telnet session should fail at this point. Let's go back to the external client and confirm that. Once again, we'll do a Telnet. And this time, look at that. It says, destination unreachable. Gateway or host down. We are unable to reach our Telnet host because based on the time and date we set, we're now outside of working hours. That's an example of how we can configure and verify a time-based ACL.